Hello, welcome to Pursuit of Perfect System and welcome to my review conclusion for the Cord Electronics Hugo 2 TT, but being used with the Cord Electronics T Toby as a pair, a duo, a DAC, preamplifier and amplifier combination as part of the review for the Wilson Audio tune top speakers that you can see behind me there on the desk. And it's the desk that was the purpose of this review series, the ultimate desk, desktop hi-fi system. And at last, I feel like I've achieved a high-end sound from those Wilson Audio speakers. And if you've seen the song demonstration, the sound review video that I've already created linked up there, I think you'll get an idea of what I'm talking about there. In terms of form factor, both the Hugo 2 TT with TT standing for tabletop and the T-Toby are extremely compact and very slim line hi-fi components and they fitted my criteria perfectly. The hi-fi for this ultimate desktop system had to be suitable or fit on a desktop and both of these components have been designed to go on a desktop. So they are, in that regard, perfect. Styling-wise, I'm sure there are some of you that won't like how they look on camera, but I can assure you, in the flesh, they are really lovely things. And they feel even nicer in your hands. Say what you want about Cord Electronics, but their products and their build quality is exceptional. And the aluminium work is faultless, and it's confidence filling of where your money has gone. I really like Cord Electronics' use of LEDs here. Having a green glow from inside the T-Toby is very lovely, and that window into the Hugo 2 TT, to see that DAC chipset, that trademark feature is just very cool. I haven't always been a fan of Cord Electronics' use of big spherical balls as part of their designs, but with the Hugo 2 TT, using it to change the volume of it as a preamplifier, I must say that is very, very awesome. And the more you do it, the more awesome it feels. Now in this video, I don't wanna to focus too much on the Cord Electronics Hugo 2 TT because it's here as a long-term review sample and I've still not finished with all my assessment of the different features that it's got. But what I will say is as a DAC and as a preamplifier, but mostly as a standalone DAC, it probably is my favorite DAC that Cord Electronics makes. I even prefer it to the higher performing Dave. Now I know technically it's not going to be as good as the Dave because it doesn't sit above it in the product range, it sits below it, but every time I've had the Hugo 2 TT in my review system and even in this system here, I've just loved listening to music and I know you can't take everything from that, but when I look back and when I consider it, I've had it in my main review system a couple of times and I've had it in here for this period and yeah, when I look back on that, that means a lot to me, but take from it what you will. Now one of the main things with the Cord Electronics Hugo 2 TT is its flexibility. Taking a look at the front and or the rear of it, you can see loads of connections and it's pretty obvious sometimes what it can connect to, but not always obvious what it can do. It can be used as a high performance DAC. I'm sure you're already aware of that. And obviously I've been using it as a preamplifier for the purposes of this review period, but it's also a headphone amplifier and an outright amplifier to be used with high efficiency speakers. And then you have to factor all of that has been included in, again, what is a very compact, very nice looking chassis or hi-fi component. To access all these different options, there is quite a simple and easy to use menu system, which you can see what you're doing. There's a little screen on the front left corner of the Hugo 2 TT. And as you cycle through the different menus, you can see what you're doing and very easily make your selections. And I really like that aspect. I like the fact that there is a little screen there. I think that's much easier and reassuring to know that you're in the mode you want to be in rather than just using different LED colors. But as I mentioned, there'll be a lot more on the Cord Electronics Hugo 2 TT in a future review video. So moving over to take a closer look at the T-Toby, and in a way it's quite difficult to even see it as an amplifier. It really is very compact and very light, but don't let that fool you. It's a MOSFET based class AB amplifier that can deliver 100 watts per channel into four ohms. So with maybe a best prediction, 45 to 50 watts at eight ohms. That's a 
pretty powerful amplifier. It's a fully balanced circuit design that is fan cooled and you can hear those fans fire up initially when you turn the T-Toby on but beyond that there's normally more ambient noise in the room than there is to be able to hear them. So I would say they are as good as silent. I am particularly impressed by the connections quality of the T-Toby. These are much better quality connections than are used by some rival hi-fi brands with products around this price point. And it's appreciated, it does make a difference. It really does make a difference. And the connections are nicely laid out with one exception. If you use an upgraded power cable with the T-Toby with something like a Furitech IEC connector on the end. When you plug that in, it's then extremely difficult to get your finger onto the power switch to be able to turn the T-Toby on and off. Maybe if you were Snoop Dogg and you had Snoop Dogg's long fingernails, it wouldn't be a problem. But for me, with my short and tubby fingers, it's a little bit tricky to get onto the power switch. But that is a very, very minor thing. Also, the front LED is a different color to the internal green LEDs, which initially seems a little bit odd until you look at the TT2 together with the T2B and about the listening volume that I was listening to, they matched in color. Hmm, I wonder if that's been designed to be like that. So for sound quality, it's been an interesting one because I've gradually moved up, I feel, in sound quality. I've certainly moved up in value and price of electronics as part of the review for the Wilson Audio Tune Top speakers. So I started with a Cyrus OneCast, all-in-one streaming solution. Then I moved up to using a Lima Acoustics Elements pre and power combination, but using a Cord Electronics Qtis DAC and that was definitely an improvement on sound quality, and then we've stepped it up in terms of value up to this, the Cord Electronics Hugo 2 TT with the T-Toby amplifier. And this is quite clearly and by far the best sound quality that I've had or been able to achieve from the Wilson Audio speakers. And this is the most expensive system of the three. The T-Toby costs around 2,900 pounds, and the Hugo 2 TT costs around £4,000. So it's serious money for these hi-fi components, but when you factor in the speakers that they've been powering, the Wilson Audio Tune Tops, those are £12,000. So it's far from being crazy unrealistic in terms of a overall cost factor for this system. And both of these cord electronics units are available in either silver or black. What's also interesting about the sound quality from this Cord Electronics Duo is that it's reminded me of some of what the Cyrus OneCast did and it's reminded me of some of what the Lima Acoustics Elements Pre and Power, but it's done the best of what both of them have done, but also done it better. The sound is big and bold, but not to the point where it's put in its own mark or stamp on the music. There is lots of detail, but delivered in an easy going so that you go to the detail as opposed to that detail being forced upon you. Vocals have that tangibility factor and there is an excellent sound stage with very separated elements to the music, sometimes very much above and very much below the speakers. The sound is focused and not phasey for the most part. There is very good control and up until a certain volume point, the system is clean, clear, bold, and stress or distress free. In fact, it does so much so well, it's actually very difficult to fault, but it isn't quite perfect. Sometimes with more complex or more, what I'd call stressful pieces of music, sometimes the combination, I think it's the T-Toby, can just lose its timing a little bit and the sound can become a little bit mushy. And when you compare it to something like the Lima Acoustics Elements pairing, that had such excellent timing, you can really hear where the T-Toby, I think it must be, it's just not quite keeping its timing as well. We'll admit though, this whole experience with the T-Toby amplifier, just made me think about its bigger brother, the Etude amplifier, which seems like it's a newer design based on MOSFETs as well, more powerful, slightly bigger, and it just made me think, oh, I'd really like to try that amplifier out with these tune top speakers. Maybe one day in the future that will happen, who knows. So for my final thoughts of the Cord Electronics Hugo 2 TT with the T-Toby amplifier. They are far from cheap hi-fi components, but they are both very, very good hi-fi components. And I know that TT2 
DAC will scale up to much, much bigger hi-fi systems than what I'm using them with here. But even with a system at this size and with the T-Toby, the delivery from them is absolutely exquisite. The T-Toby amplifier is real shocker really for how good it is and how punchy and dynamic it sounds from such a compact form factor. And because of that, it's got me thinking about how it might work as part of a home cinema system because it is extremely small and you could have a whole rack of them and they would take up hardly any space, generate hardly any heat, sound really sweet and detailed and lively and dynamic. So that's just something that I'm going to have to put to the test and I'll report back on this some point in the near future. And I think another thing to come out of this review and hopefully it comes across is that quite often certain speaker manufacturers get associated with certain electronics and cable brands etc as being fantastic pairings and I don't think I've seen cord electronics products being used very often with Wilson audio speakers when well, hopefully this review has helped to reassure some of you that it is a fantastic pairing, which is no surprise. You've got fantastic electronics being used with fantastic speakers. How could you not get a fantastic end result? So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it's been helpful and useful, especially combined with the sound review and the song demonstration video that I've already created. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a thumbs up Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and make sure to go and visit our website for more hot news reviews and more. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.